This is Heidi Caswell, WordPress 101 for Boomers. And today we're going to talk a little bit about contact forms and other forms you might have on your website. And what to do when you have a lot of spammers that start just filling them in. Um, this can be a problem for you. I did not add one of those little CAPTCHA forms at the bottom of this because they're annoying sometimes. And sometimes the words are hard, the letters may be hard to, to figure a few of them and you don't always type them in right. But there is a reason why people use them on their site. And that's kind of to help them with time management and things. There are people who spammers out there and things. They have a lot of these little robots that go across, the, they're bots that go across online and through the internet. And they find these forms. And when they find them, they just fill them up with their garbage. And they send them to you. Now, if you get one or two of those occasionally, yeah, you can work with it. You can just delete them. You don't have to answer those. But there comes a time when you may get a whole bunch of them coming in. And that can be annoying and slow down your protection time. Here is what one of them looks like. And I had a whole bunch of them coming in. Uh, these are ones that was just generated in less than a, less than a day. And I really don't want them all in here. Yes, I simply deleted these and sent them in. There's this is looking in the trash bin. But that's still, I don't want to have them coming in the first place. So we're going to go ahead and look at some ways to fix this. Now, there are forms that you can use, um, some plugins. And I'm going to go ahead and add the link to one of these here. Or you can go in and um, add a capture to your contact form 7 plugin. This is what the forms look like. They'll be. Um, that direction to you. Something like this that will show up. And there's some others you can search around and you can find another one that you might like. Here's another one. And you can have the small size, you can have the large size, the default. Uh, and, and there's a whole a lot of various different plugins like this you can use. But still your visitor has to go in and take the time to fill these out. So what I'm going to try is a different um, way to handle this. And this is one that's called Honey Pop. And uh, it may, you know, we'll see how this works for my side. If it doesn't work, then I'll go ahead and uh, try something else. Uh, but what it does is when comments come in, the robots just automatically fill in with their garbage every single little blank text box form they find. And so what this does is it puts a form to fill in that the... Uh, well, the bots, when they come by, will fill in, but it's one that's invisible to the viewers that go there. So you and I, when we go to the site to fill out the form, we're not going to see that blank, and we're not going to fill it in. But the bots will see that blank, and they will fill it in. And when they do, they're going to just think, oh, wow, more stuff to fill in. And so by using this plug-in, it should keep most of the spam out of your contact forms. At the same time, it's not going to be annoying your uh, visitors to have to take the extra time to fill something out. Now, I don't mind filling out one of those forms if it's needed. I appreciate people that have sites up there for me to use. And if that works, that's fine. But I'm going to go ahead and work with this one, and we're going to see how this works and see if this can make it a little bit friendlier to our users. Under Add Plugin, you're looking for Contact Form 7 Honey Pop. Install it and activate it. Okay, now I'm back under Contact field, which takes me to Contact Form 7. And I'm in the Contact Form that I actually use for my Contact page here. And when you click on this Generate Tag, it comes up with these other tags in. And I, I see that also that you do not now have a capture form that you can just click and add to your site. I guess it's something that didn't come all the way installed yet from the plugin I was trying before. Anyway, but the Honey Pot you can add. Now I went ahead and changed the name because bots can get smart. Okay, okay, it says Honey Pot, then you don't fill in that form. So we're going to um, call it something else. Okay, I have it over here in the form. If it doesn't work, if I keep getting spans, I'm going to go back and add that capture form to it. Um, anyway, um, and it's easy enough to come back and add. Save it. 